everybody. It's Molly. Um, St. Patty's Day and uh, I'm gonna do two pours. Both green, same colors. One is a ring pour and one as a uh, flip cup. Um, but first I wanted to say hi. I haven't seen you guys in a while. I feel like I'm always down on the canvas. Um, so you got me crazy hair and all. Um, I wanted to go over a few things. So first thing, let me take my gloves off. I wanted to say congratulations to the 5,000 uh, subscriber uh, giveaway. And that was Jeff. It's either Nose Cable or Nose Cabell, but he chose the Crashing Wave. He had a choice of two. Um, so I just need to finish, take the tape off, finish the back. Um, and then I will be sending that out to him. Um, let me see here. Let me see if I can turn on my autofocus. Okay, good. I don't want it to keep getting blurry. Um, okay, so, so congratulations, Jeff. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking. Um, and I'll be doing another one, uh, at 10,000 and, um, you know, as things pop up, um, I'll be doing giveaways. My next thing, can you guys let me know if you want me to do a live pour where you guys can ask me questions and I can talk to you while I'm doing it? Also, um, I have a lot of smaller pieces that I've done on camera and I know Christina Welch and Sandra Lett and Mixed Media Girl, they've been doing live auctions to get some of their pieces out pretty inexpensive. So um, if you could please let me know if you guys would like either of those things. Um, this is my channel for my art, but you guys are what keep it going. So if you guys can just let me know. A lot of people have been asking about my paint split. The paint split is a technique that I use to put the paint in a cup. Um, it's no big deal, really. I like the effect that it gives, but you don't have to do it. Um, and somebody asked how I do it. So I just take what comes on the canvas, the, the it's like kind of flimsy cardboard that comes on the canvas, and I cut a triangle that matches the cup, two of them, okay? And then I cut a slit down the middle, I put it into fourths, and I just stick it in the cup, and that creates my partition. I've seen um, some other people that have tried the paint split, and they've used like folded up tin foil, so whatever makes a hard partition. Um, at the end, I think it was my metallic pour, I actually um, showed you how to do the paint split without having any partition in there. It's just pouring the paint down the sides of the cup. So sometimes, guys, I just pour and I don't really know what I'm doing and it comes out cool. And uh, so it's, you know, and there's not a method to my madness all the time. Um, okay, so that was the paint split. So there is a three paint split 3D pour that is... Uh, it's maroon and um, purple. And that one at the beginning, I show it in the cup how I do it. And then, like I said, on my metallic colander report at the end, I show how I do it. So you can check both of those out. My pouring medium is on my channel. It's one of the like last pages of videos. It was one of the first ones I did. I change it up all the time now. I'm experimenting. So check out underneath the video in the description there'll be a little box to check to you know bring everything down full screen and i list out there normally what it is um so i do batches so i don't want to tell you milliliters of something when i made a huge batch of it and you may not want to make a huge batch so i tell you in percentages so that you can do the math and create it on your own um, but it's ever-changing so if you guys have a question about it you can definitely comment and ask me. Um, just uh, something that's going on exciting is I have my first class, pouring class, happening on the 12th. I found a really cool co-op studio that I'm doing it in. Um, it's almost full already, so I'm super excited about that. Um, I have my two art festivals coming up soon, so Sunfest, and I actually got into a Howard Allen event uh, the month before, so I'm kind of freaking out about that too. Um, but so those are the things that are exciting that are coming up. Um, consistency. If you guys are having a problem getting what I get in my video, it is most likely coming from the consistency of your paint. So I would check out my consistency tutorial or whoever you watch for, um, you know, your 
basics, acrylic pouring basics, and um, my consistency for a lot of things is much thicker than normal acrylic pouring. So um, check out that video if you want. The colander that I use is from Walmart. Uh, I had said previously that it might have been from the dollar store, but I couldn't find it there anymore. So I went to Walmart and it was there. It was 88 cents. It's not on my Amazon page because um, I can't find the exact one with those holes on Amazon. Um, but it's at Walmart. So if you guys don't have a Walmart, just see if you can get a colander with larger holes that are round, um, that are kind of spaced out. Um, and then make sure you're pulling up slowly and make sure you thicken your paints up a little bit and then just do the ring pour. And that's all I do to get my colander pours to come out that way. Um, ask me questions. I love talking with you guys. It like makes my day. So, um, comment below ask me whatever you want. If you're embarrassed and you don't want to ask a question on YouTube where everybody can see it, you can find me on Facebook because I have my links down below. Find me on my Molly's Artistry page and send me a, a direct message and you can ask me anything you want. People ask all the time, do you sell your pieces? Yes, I sell every single piece um, unless I'm, you know, making it for fun and I still post it. Um, so I do have my Etsy store, but I'm in the process of building my own website and I'm doing it myself. So it's taking a long time. Um, and I have all these festivals coming up, so I haven't really uploaded anything. But if you guys like anything, again, use Facebook, direct message me, and we can talk about it. Um, I have two large pieces coming up that I'll be doing videos on, a 48 by 48 inch and a 36 inch by 36 inch. So my last 36 by 36 sold at the last festival, so I'll be doing another one. One of them I think will be a ring pour and one of them will be a variation of the Dutch pour or the blow dryer pour, whatever you wanna call it, uh, with a blow dryer and some thinned out paint. So I'm pretty excited. I haven't decided which size I'll use for which. Um, my Amazon store is below. You guys check out the prices on some of the stuff. Sometimes you can get it cheaper at Walmart, but for people that don't have a store around them close by, um, it might be a good option. So you guys check that out as well. Um, I do get a small percentage. It doesn't cost you anything more, but if you buy your stuff through my link, I do get a small percentage from Amazon for being an influencer. Um, check out all my links below, you guys. Uh, it's, you know, I love dropping down on people's screens and going to whatever they're linking in their website or whatever they're doing just to see what, you know, other artists are doing. It's inspiring. Um, I want to say thank you to my supporters for March. Um, I've sent out two photo prints, uh, eight by 10. Um, so you guys should be getting those soon. I mailed them out yesterday and the other two, I've heard back from one, um, to get an address. So, um, I will have to say it was more expensive to send it than some of the, um, than some of the donations. So I think what I'm going to do from now on is if you donate $5 or less, you'll get a five by seven or a four by six, um, you know, photo print that's signed on the back. And if you, um, donate larger then you can get the eight by 10. Um, so Joanne, uh, S Linda L Stacy R and Julio J. Thank you guys so much for supporting me through uh, my PayPal me account. I really appreciate it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. That was a lot of talking. It was like seven minutes. Um, you guys let me know if you have any questions or if you want to just chat about something. I'm totally open to that. So thank you guys. All right. So I'm going to get you down on the canvas. Okay. So um, I'll list the colors below, but I'm doing greens, yellow, and gold. There it is. Um, this is a 500 milliliter cup. Um, and so I haven't filled it up all the way, so there's maybe about 400 mils in here, I would say. So I'm just going to start the little in the center, and we'll just see what happens. I'll list my pouring medium below, like I said. I've got a couple metallics in here as well. I can tell my paints are a little bit thick because my lines aren't quite a straight circle, so we'll see how this actually goes. Here's my white, so I want it to be a little bit more careful. So 
see if I can get a little bit of a traveling effect here. Okay. Okay. So, just going to start circling around. Head on down here, bring it back to the center, head on up there, bring it back, bring it back to the center. On down here. I'm going to see how much back to the center I can get. Okay. So there we go. Just a little green ring pour for you work much in green. I don't know why. I tend to stay away from certain colors, but greens are really beautiful. Um, all right. So let me wipe my hands and I'll see if I can take you guys down for this one. I know I got a little glare Ooh, up there. Uh, let me just bring you in. Okay. So I'm going to get ready for my second pour. Okay, so this one is just a little 10 by 10 canvas. Um, I filled these up about halfway, two thirds of the way. These are 10 ounce cups, so that means there's 30 mils approximately. I mean, 30 mils per ounce, so 300 uh, milliliters in these approximately, uh, but I didn't fill it up all the way. So maybe a little bit too much for this tiny canvas, we'll see, but my spillover, I'll probably use for some uh, coasters and tiles anyway. So here we go. I put treadmill silicone in the same colors that I used for the ring pour. Oh, there's all my white. Uh oh, I'm not going to like that in that middle. So I'll have to do something about that. Yeah, I'm definitely not gonna like that in that middle. I might just drag my finger through there now or drag it up. You can always mess with it ahead of time. It's harder to do so afterwards. Um, I wish I didn't have that little glare right there. Maybe if I take it back a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to hit it with a torch. I'm almost out of butane, so I'm going to have to go to the store. I have to get kind of close to it as well. Ooh, a ton of cells popped up. Because of how close I'm having to get. Okay, all right, so now I'm just going to stretch. Over the top, way too much paint for this pour. Stretch down to the bottom. And don't worry, I'll take you guys down so you can see it all. I really like the yellow cells that are over here on this side. I 
So yeah, this normally happens to me. I like one side and I don't like one side. So we'll see what actually comes out of this one. Um, let me take you down. Okay, so here is what this pour turned out like. So I actually like these yellows. Look at that one little white sail. I love this yellow circulation that happened around those. Not particularly loving this side right here. I should have never poured that white. You guys said you wanted to see the ones that don't turn out so great as well, so I'm showing you both. But I really like that side, so I may cut this off this canvas and make it a smaller one. Do a little matte frame. Here is the other one that I did just a little while ago. There's that kind of 3D effect right there. But guys, I'm going to be honest, I had to move this one around a little bit and it still kind of looks like it. It looks a little uh, risque, if you know what I'm saying, right there. Not totally loving that part. But <laughs> um, anyway, so there were just two little green pours for St. Patty's Day. And there's the other. Really love that part. So thank you guys for subscribing, for watching. Sorry this video is a little bit longer. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you want to see. Um, and I appreciate you guys so much. Thanks for watching. All right. Till next time. Happy painting. Bye.